today I have for you um, our eighth grade curriculum for this upcoming school year. Well, not upcoming, I guess we've already started it, um, but for the 2021 to 2022 school year. So stay tuned. All right, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. I'm a homeschool mom of three kids. My youngest is back here in the background <laughs> reading some books. He is four and a half. I also have an eight-year-old who's in fourth grade, and I have a 13-year-old who has just started eighth grade. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, we have homeschooled from the beginning, um, so we've been at this a long time, and um, <clears throat> have used a lot of different curriculums throughout the years, um, and I think we've finally found a few um, that really work well for us. And um, <clears throat> some things, especially math, where we've tried several math curriculums and finally found one that really worked for my daughter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share all that stuff with you today. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe um, so you can uh, come back and see all of our other videos. Um, I'm going to be also doing a fourth grade video and a pre-K video, um, plus lots of other fun homeschooling stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with, start with math. Um, so this year she's doing um, Principles of Mathematics, book two. So she did book one last year for seventh grade. This is from Master Books, which is a um, Christian curriculum. Um, so I would say some of the young, they have um, math lessons for living education, which is for their elementary years. Um, and we started her with that in fifth grade. And it was a game changer for math for us. Um, we've tried a few different maths over the years um and none of them were bad it just <coughs> didn't work for her bless you <laughs> it just didn't work for her so um we found math lessons for living education and it was amazing for her it was it was not a battle to do math anymore she still doesn't love math um but it became easier to get it done so um sometimes you gotta just try different things and um, so yeah, so we started with math lessons. That was the first thing we ever used for master books. And now we use um, quite a few things for master books. So they're middle grade. Um, so for seventh and eighth grade, you do principles of math mathematics. And, um, it's kind of like two years of pre-algebra basically. Um, so the seventh grade one, the book one is kind of like a basic seventh grade math leading starting pre-algebra and then when you get to the second book it's pretty much pre-algebra um it is very much um trying to think of how to word it it's it teaches real life math real life applications to math and i think that's why my daughter enjoys it because she never saw the point of math before um in that you would be pre presented with how to do something and then you just do 50 problems, whatever it is. Um, and she always wanted to know, well, why? Why, does, do, why do we do this to figure this out? Or why does this work this way? And how does this work? And um, this answers that. This tells you why equations work the way they do, why and how it all works and how did you know and that made sense to her and really really helps um so we'll say there is a lot of reading so if you have a child that does not like to read um i not necessarily recommend this unless you want to read it to them which a lot of times they do because she is an auditory learner but she likes to read so sometimes she reads sometimes i read um they do offer they have masterbooks academy so they do offer like video courses where you have a teacher presenting the information. Um, and that's an additional fee. I, I want to say it's around $60. I'm not really sure. Um, 
on top of what you would still have to buy the books. So it's another additional cost. So did we, it wasn't necessary for us because I can read it to her or teach it to her if she's struggling with something. So we didn't really need that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it is a Christian curriculum. Um, this is very much faith-based. Um, the language lessons for living education. You can get away if you don't do the, the, so each week there's like a story at the beginning of the chapter of the beginning of the lesson. If you don't read that, you could totally do the math lessons and not have to worry about the um, faith in it. Um, so yes, that's definitely something worth looking into. Um, so yeah, that's math. Uh, principles of mathematics book two. I'm trying to get this done quickly because um, we need to start school. She's eating breakfast right now. <laughs> um, okay, so for history, um, we are finishing up the world story two. We only did about half of it last year, so we're going to finish it up and then we'll move on to world story three. Um, we're kind of like um, so for history and science, we're, I'm not like, oh, we have to get this done in a year and move on. I feel like it's just one of those things that we could just continuously learn and move our way through history. And um, if we don't get it done all in a year, I'm okay with that. Um, things might look different when she moves into high school, but for right now, we're okay with that. Um so yeah, so we're, this is what we're working on and we will move on to book three when um, we are ready for that. Um, if you want more information about any of these, I will put some links. Um, I can put a card up in the corner and also put links in the description box for my videos where I did flip throughs of those and went into more detail. <laughs> All right, so for um, writing, we are doing, be careful, buddy. Um, we are finishing up medieval history-based writing lessons. And when we're done with that, we will move on to modern history-based writing lessons. So um, this is from IEW. Um, so both of them basically use the same, um, uh, IEW is taught in units and um, so they'll go, each book's going to go through the same unit. So that's why I wasn't really super worried about finishing this at the end of the year. We only have like, I don't know, a couple, like two weeks. <laughs> like we're almost done with it. Um, But so I wasn't super worried about it. And since we were still doing this time period in history, I was like, it still works. Um, So I wasn't worried about finishing it. And writing is one of those things that will just continue and Please don't climb. Do you want the abacus? <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just like, you know, it's just one of those things. And as she gets older, her writing will evolve. And, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as she's practicing. She's, she's learning the skills. Um, so yeah, so we're doing this. Um, we're almost done with this one. We'll move on to the next one. Um, we love this. Same thing. I'll put links. Um, so if you want to check out more about this. We are not doing um, grammar this year. Um, this does have a little grammar in it. Um, so it's basically practicing the grammar she's already learned from um, Fix-It Grammar. And in here, there's like, they do have little, like, little lessons on the grammar. But she learned most of it from Fix-It Grammar, which is from IEW as well. Um, but we're not doing grammar this year. Um, it's just, we didn't, I didn't feel it was necessary and she wanted to do spelling. So we're doing spelling instead. I didn't feel it was necessary to do both. Um, so for spelling, she is doing, this is from Christian Liberty Press. It is building spelling skills. Book eight. Um, this is, um, it's all, so it's all different, um, like origins of words. So each lesson, let's see if I can get them. Each lesson, each unit um, is basically like different origins of words. <clears throat> so it's great for vocabulary. Um, but I think we're enjoying it. We've learned some new words um, and she's doing good so far. So um, we really like it. 
Um, so this week she's working on verbs from Latin through French. So it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, she wanted to do this. This was, I got this from Rainbow Resource. Um, I'll put a link to that video down below too. I want to say it was like $7.95 or something like it was super cheap. So she wanted to do a spell that you see, but it's really expensive. Um, I was like, you don't really need spelling. I was like, <laughs> like kind of, so I'm like, I'm going to find something else. And I found this and she loves, she's so interested in the roots of where, where words come from, why, you know, why they mean what they do, like just all of that. So I thought this would be really fun. And to go along with that, we got this rummy roots game. So you think I ordered this from Rainbow Resource. Um, this is really fun. We've actually been playing this. Um, there's four different levels what? to the game. So we're still playing the first level. <laughs> um, but I think I think next time we play, maybe we'll try the second level. We'll see. Um, but it's really fun. And we're actually all learning some um, Greek and Latin roots. So cool. Um, she's also doing Spanish this year. So we have a Spanish workbook for middle and high schoolers. Um, so she's been working on this. Um, she had started Duolingo in the past. Um, so we're probably going to add that back in soon. Um, but yeah, so this is just a basic kind of workbook. Um, I know a little bit of Spanish. Um, so I'm kind of helping. <laughs> Um, but we've also been watching some YouTube videos and things like that. So, um, and for science, so we do, um, family science, um, we're just doing botany right now. Um, and we're using, we're reading, um, Sassafras Adventures, um, from Elemental Science, which we love. Um, so we're doing that as a family, but for her individually, she's doing Intro to Astronomy from Master Books. This is her workbook, and this is the book that she reads for her lessons, The Stargazer's Guide to the Night Sky. Um, yeah, so she does this pretty much on her own. Um, I also, I don't have the book here, but I got um, a friend of mine let us borrow um, a book with some, that has some activities and things like that in it, so we're also using that. Um, and I bought her this. Um, this is like... Um, a Waldorf main lesson book and I bought this it's specifically for astronomy because it alternates between the white and blue pages so I got her this because she likes art and to draw um so she's only started one drawing in here so far but so then I'm gonna have her write on the other side kind of what this was um so yeah so that's what she's doing for science and we're making, so for botany, we're reading, I do a read aloud, um, and then um, we're making nature cards. So that's what we're doing for that. Um, so for literature, um, what we're doing is, so in the um, IEW writing, themed writing lessons, there are suggested um, literature. So right now, well, she's still finishing up some of the ones from this book that she's on, the medieval history. So right now she's reading Catherine called Birdie. And I did um, make her like a little study guide with questions and stuff like that. I found like a free one online. Um, and I'm going to make her, she's going to do like a timeline at the end. Because um, it's written and, in a diary format. So I'm going to have her make a timeline with like an event from each month. Um, she's also going to read who was Joan of Arc. She's, like I said, since this is when we're finishing up, she's already read several books <laughs> to go along with that time period. Um, this is just ones um, that she still has. Um, the Shakespeare uh, Stealer. And then um, I just grabbed two, like the two new ones that I just got. There are going to be more books that are going to go along with the modern world history Um writing lessons. Um, but to start, she has In the Reign of Terror, a story of the French Revolution and Calico Captive. So yeah, there's a few more. I just didn't want to go through my shelf. I haven't pulled them yet for the year since we're not there yet. Um, these were just two that were on the shelf. So she will have um, quite a few more. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll probably pull some biographies for her as well. 
So yeah, that's pretty much what she's doing. We do throw some other things in there, here and there, extra resources, extra projects. Um, we do a lot of stuff as a family, um, art projects and science. Every once in a while they'll get interested in something. It's a science project on something. Um, yeah, that's the basics. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely subscribe um, and come back for my other great videos and for more. Bye.